Hi, we're glad you're here with us, and I have my granddaughter, Georgia May. She's here to help us with children's sermons. So can you say hi, Georgia? Hi. That's right. So, Georgia, let me ask you a question. Okay. So, do you have a favorite board game? Matching game. The matching game. Mm -hmm. Of course, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. You know why? Because mm -hmm. you beat me all the time. I you know. are always the winner. You're good at that. I didn't even know my house. All the time. Well, you know what? I've got several board games here with us. i got Candyland and Guess Who and look, Racco, F cards, Love Cards. You mm -hmm. can do so many things with this. But do you know what my favorite game was? Mm -hmm. Board game when I was your age? I don't know. It was called The Game of Life. Have you ever heard of that one? No. It's a very old game. It's, guess how old? 2,000 years. Oh, it's not quite that old, 2,000 years, but it's 160 years old. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's older than Mama Doc. Oh my. Oh my, that's old, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let me tell you a little bit about The Game of Life. Okay. The Game of Life is actually where you get to choose are you going to go to college or you're going to go straight to work and then as you spin the spinner you take your little car and you go around the board and you have to make decisions mm -hmm. sometimes they'll say you must do this oh. just like in life you gotta do things sometimes we don't like to do them yeah. but you gotta do them and then other times it'll give you a choice and say you pick this or you pick that and it depends on how wisely you choose. Hmm. At the end of the game, whoever has the most money is the winner. Now that, that kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. But is that true in real life? No. No, of course it's not. We all like to have lots of money, don't we? Yes. Well, why do we like lots of money? What can we spend money on? We have to use it to buy food and drink some water. Oh, absolutely. And clothes? Yes. And lots of toys? Yes. Yes. And board games? Yes. Yes. But is that the most important thing in life? No. What do you think is the most important thing in life? Your family. <gasps> Your family. And who else? Your grandparents. Oh, of course I knew you'd say that. I love that. What else? Who else? Um, Maybe your friends? Yes. Well, you, my school. At your school. Absolutely. Did you know that it's very important for us to focus on being... Oh, my gosh. What? What's, what's on your shirt? Be kind. Be kind, of course. I can't believe you wore that for this taping mm -hmm. because that's the whole focus. We have okay. to be kind to others. You know why? Uh, because you have to be kind to so kind to you. Oh, that's the golden rule. That's exactly right. And you know what? The Bible says something about that. Can you tell me where we might find that in the Bible? Acts 20. That's exactly right. Acts 20, 35. So let me read it. It says, In all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus. How he himself said, It is more blessed to give than receive. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Will you remember that? Yes. That the, if we are winners and mm -hmm. we do exactly what Jesus did, because he focused on others when he was here? Yes. That we will be winners in life. Will you remember that? Yes. Hey, let's do pinky swear. Pinky swear. We're going to promise each other okay. and promise Jesus that we're going to always strive to be kind. Okay. All right. Let's pray. Can you bow your head and repeat after me? Dear God. Dear God. We want to follow. We want to follow. The example. The example. That Jesus set. That Jesus set. And know that we that know we will be winners in the game. That we will be winners in the game of life. Of life. That we need, that we need to, love to love and serve others. And to serve others. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye.